Made a, another trip to a buddy of mine who sells these. These are Splenda sucralose, you know, fake sugar buckets. They're five gallon buckets and you've seen these before. I've made a video on these and uh, we and got some more. I got another garden plan and um, today is I think December the 12th and uh, I got a plan uh, for the primary garden out there and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with that. I'm filling the five gallon buckets with water and that is to uh, dilute the um, sucralose, artificial sweetener, that stuff is extremely sweet raw like that and uh, when I cut the lids or whatever I do with it I don't want that stuff all over. So the first, it's the first washing and I'm going to uh, fill them up and let them sit for a little while here. Now, why am I using these instead of the buckets, the Lowe's and Home Depot and other type buckets? Well, two reasons. One is because um, they're heavy duty. These things are very, very thick walled and uh, buckets tend to be uh, Home, De Home Depot buckets and those types of buckets, they tend to be a lot thinner. <clears throat> Secondly, and, and so that means they're more durable. These are more durable. You can kick the snot out of them. It's not going to hurt them. And secondly, the, uh, the buckets that you can buy from the big box stores, they crack. They, you know, after a couple years in the sun, they used to grow on the deck here. You can look back and see those videos. But after a couple years, they just start cracking and they fall apart. Uh, and so far with these, I haven't seen an inkling of coming close to cracking. So that's the reason why I'm using these two. Again, it's December 12th and the fish are still feeding. Just want to give you a little quick uh, show on that. They're still hungry. It's unseasonably warm though. Maybe it's global warming. Maybe climate change is such a big deal after all. <laughs> you can see the level of the pond. It's rained here quite a bit lately. And she's up nearly full. A couple feet from the top. But I'm on my way over here to the back side of the property to get some fencing. Okay, this is where I have uh, stored the fencing that I use in gardening. Got some T posts over there and some other gardening stuff. And uh, I'm going to grab a roll of this. I cut a section of the fence off of the little bundle I had and I checked the, the circumference of that bucket and then I cut it appropriately. Basically, what I've done is I've taken and surrounded the bucket with the, with the cage. It's essentially a tomato cage. <clears throat> but it can be used in several different ways. Um, with these containers, I am going to start them in the greenhouse and move them out there. And I'll show you that later. Uh, but also in the greenhouse, I'm going to use these for some tomato support and possibly even squash support and other types of support. Well, I made six of them real quick. Didn't take long at all. Probably 30 minutes or so. And uh, going around the bucket was 18 little squares. So I cut it 18 and cut them to shape. Okay, it's early evening. I'm in the greenhouse. And you can see I put up three of them. These three are my breeding. And uh, the ones in between them are just, I'm just going to let them string up. Also, over here, you can see where I have started to grab the squash and I'm going to use the cages as support and we'll see maybe they'll grow on the outside just some uh, trying some things differently see how it goes <laughs> 